Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to go through the client settings in configuration manager. So I have my console here open. Under administration, there's a client settings. What I need to do is go into right click on default client settings, go to properties. So the background intelligent transfer, you want to enable this because it's the features for all the workstations built in. So by default, this is enable, um, it's enable. So if you see the client is yes. Client cache settings. If you're looking to for branch caching, or enable branch cache, you want to enable this. If, if you um, plan to use any of these features, I'm going to enable it just for testing. The maximum branch cache size by default is 10%. That's how much it's going to uh, use up the hard drives on the computer. Configure clan cache size. You can configure it or you don't want to. It's just if you configure it, you're gonna to have to give the um, the 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 size of the uh, cache. So I'm gonna say no. Maximum cache size. So that's not enable. Enable configuration manager client full OS to share contents. If you want to share content between OS, you can in, you have to enable this. As you can see, the client computer used the con, used the configured network ports to connect to the peer computer with configuration ma manager client. If you use this Windows firewall on the status on the client configuration manager, automatically configure the rules, allow the ports. So it's automatically uh, configured the ports for you. So are you sure you want to do this? Just for testing, I'm going to turn it on. Here's the port that it's going to use. So that's client caching. Client policy. So it's going to, client policy is the, that's how often the configuration manager client uh, check the policy. By default, it's 30, uh, 60 minutes, it's one hour. So it checks the management point for any new policies that's coming down. I'm going to leave that as as a, as of it for now. Cloud services. Specify settings here. Uh, specify if the client computer can be cloud-based services. So automatically register new Windows 10 or domain join devices with Azure. Active Directory. If you have um, um, Azure or Office 365 subscription, and if you want to enable that, that's uh, it's enabled by default. Allow access to cloud distribution point. Just enable default by default. Okay. Compliance settings. This is the compliance settings. Schedule compliance evaluation is every seven days. So by default, I'm going to change it to one day. Computer agent. So the device settings here, deployment deadline greater than 24 hours, remind user every hours. So if it's more than 24 hours, it's going to remind user every 48 hours. By default, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Deployment deadline less than 24. Less than 24 hours remind user every four hours. So if the deadline is going to deploy or it's going to expire in, in less than 24 hours, it's going to remind user, hey, you have something that needs to be installed. So you can set this every four hours. By default, it's every four hours. Deployment's deadline less than one hour. So every 15 minutes, user will see a pop-up or a notification. 
default application catalog if you plan to deploy or enable the application catalog you can set up the websites here at default application catalog to a trusted in IE you can if you enable application catalog you have to enable that change it to yes Allow Civilite application to run in elevated trust mode. By default, it's yes. Organization name in Software Center. This is what you want to see in Software Center. Let's see here if I go to Software Center. So we can get it to open. Let's go back here while it's opening. So let's call it um, my test organization. It looks like it came up. Let's see here. Oh, you're having uh, .NET issues. So anyway, the software center, you will see the configuration, um, the, the company's name. You will see it up here. If you configure my test um, organization, let's see if I have that here. All right, I'm not going to go through that. Um, Use new software center, yes. Enable communication with health attestation, no by default. Computer restart, so it's display a temporary notification to the user 90 minutes, indicate that the user is logged off the computer restart in 90 minutes. And the display dialog, the user cannot close it's 15 minutes so they will see like a log uh, a reboot a prompt for reboot and they won't be able to close it that's 15 minutes before the reboot endpoint protection if you enable endpoint protection there's configuration enrollment this is for the device enrollment Hardware inventories, if you plan to enable hardware inventory, which is, you should be in, enable hardware inventories. I'm going to change this to one day. Uh, you can set the delay minutes by default here. Hardware inventory class, if you want to enable any other classes. You can do that here. Let's do... Let's say I want to enable printer, printer job, printer configuration. I'm going to enable all the printer stuff. Click OK. So that will enable some classes. Collect me files. Say no for now. Meter, meter internet connection. So if you have any client communicate on the meter internet connection, you want to enable or block. Power management, if you want to enable power management for the clients, this is where you configure it. Okay, let's see, remote control tools. It's configured by default. It's enabled, it's enabled by default, so domain, private, and public. User can change the policy, no. Allow remote control of an unattended computer, yes. If it, if no one at the computer, you can allow the tech to remote in, that's yes. Prompt user for remote control permission, yes. Prompt user for permission to transfer contents, no. Grant remote control permission to local administrator, yes, for control. If you wanna, add any groups to view 
remote assistant you can set on view viewer here and then add the, the group which is the um, the domain security groups click that cancel that show session notification icon yes show session connection bar yes repeatedly during the session this play the play sound yeah repeatedly during session manage and solicited remote assistant yes manage the remote assistant no level access remote assistant no so that's the setting for remote control software center select this new setting to specify company information if you want to customize that click on that and customize you can select the logo set the color select the logo you have to select this box and browse to the, the, um, the image file software deployment schedule to re to reevaluate for every one day this is by default software inventories so it's going to run every one day the files you need to collect the file so the file i want to collect is select file type i'm going to select everything with an exe So everything with an EXE, all location is all client hard disk. Click OK, click Next. Inventory file type, I'm going to do a star.exe as well. That's the server inventory. Software metering, if you enable software metering, this is the schedule by default is enable. Schedule every seven days. Software updates. If you deploy, if you plan to use software deployment or software patches, software patching using software updates, you need to enable that. By default, it runs every seven days. You can change it to one day. Schedule deployment to re-evaluate re is one day. By default, it's seven days. So when any software updates deploy, deadline is reached. Install all the software updates. By default, it's no, but you can change it to yes. So you want to install all the updates that are available for that machine. That's what it means here. So period period of time for which all depending deploy with the deadline one hour it works with installation express is no post use to receive express default I did not turn that on enable management for office 365 client yes if you plan to use office 365 or click to run Office Pro Plus, you need to do, you need to enable this to yes, or change it to yes. Enable third party software updates, yes, that's like updates uh, for Adobe and stuff. Status messages, cycle of every 15 minutes, user and device infinity, by default, it's 28,000, oh, 2880 minutes. User device infinity usage threshold is 30 days. Automatically configure device from using data. I would say yes for this one. Allow user to define their primary device, yes. Windows analytic manage elementary setting with configuration manager. If you want to know about more about Windows and Eric, you can click here. I'm going to turn that on. Yes. I need the commercial ID, so I don't have that with me yet. I'm going to change it to no. Click OK. Now, 
that's all the overview of client settings and if you have any question please feel free to put your question in the comment section and thank you for watching have a good day